Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie Children of Heaven, released in the year 1997. The film begins with a cobbler repairing a pair of pink shoes. Ali, the story's protagonist, is in the cobbler's shop to pick up his sister Zara's pink shoes. His sister's shoes are ripped, symbolizing their family's financial situation. They come from a low-income family because their father works as a tea server in the mosque. He is the sole breadwinner in his family. Ali goes to get some bread after taking his sister's shoes. Later, he goes to the grocery store to get some potatoes, as instructed by his mother. He takes the potatoes from the basket, but the shopkeeper instructs him to take the potatoes spread on the ground on plastic. He asks the shopkeeper to credit the amount after selecting the potatoes and placing them in a shopping bag. However, the shopkeeper claims that they are already deep in debt and that they can only credit their future purchases if they can pay off half of the debt. The shopkeeper instructs that the message be forwarded to his mother. Simultaneously, an elderly man appears outside the shop and takes out the trash from the shop. Along with other trash, he takes away the bag containing Zara's pink shoes. Ali is unaware of it, and when he exits the store, he can't find the bag containing his sister's shoes. He searches for the bag and, in the process, drops the vegetables that are stored over there. The shopkeeper comes out to see what's going on. When he discovers that Ali is attempting to search for something, he scolds him and chases him away. Ali flees, leaving behind his bag of vegetables and the bread. The shopkeeper then begins to pick up his vegetables, and when Ali returns to take his bags, the shopkeeper pursues him. Ali then returns home and gets to know that his landlord and mother are arguing. When Ali's mother notices him, she tells him to go in and tell Zara to peel the potatoes if the baby is asleep. When Zara sees her brother, she immediately asks him if her shoes are properly mended. Ali ignores her question and tells her to peel the potatoes. Zara asks again, but Ali remains silent and simply confirms that he has her shoes. She immediately stands up and walks towards the door to inspect the shoes. Ali comes to a halt in front of her and informs her that he has lost her shoes and explains the entire situation. Ali cries and begs his sister not to tell their mother about it. Then Zara sobs and wonders what she will wear to school the next day. Ali promises to get back her shoes and walks out in search of them. His mother asks him to stay and assist her with the work, but he refuses and runs away. His friends invite him to play as well, but he declines. He dashes back to the shop and begins searching. The shopkeeper apprehends him once more and chastises him. He runs towards home, stopping in the middle to drink water, and an elderly person asks him to take the sugar home to break it. Later, Ali's father becomes enraged at the landlord for shouting at his wife, who is ill. He also vents his rage on Ali for refusing his mother's call for assistance, causing Ali to cry. Zara then enters the house, picks out some clothes, and sits down to do her homework. Her mother requests that she make a cup of tea for her father. The tea made by her daughter is praised by her father. However, Zara does not give the sugar to her father and asks to take the sugar he is chopping, but her father tells her that it was given to them in trust by the mosque, and they should not use it for their personal purposes. Then, her mother asks her to give some candles to her father. Her father asks her mother if there is some sugar to which she replies no. Her father then tells her that he will buy some sugar tomorrow on his way back home. Zara then sits down near her brother and writes in a copy of what needs to be done about the shoes tomorrow, which she passes to her brother. Ali then asks her to wear her slippers to school the next day. Zara refuses to wear slippers to school, calling him silly and threatening that she will inform her father. Then, Ali says if she tells her father, he will beat both of them because he doesn't have enough money to buy new ones. Ali advises Zara to wear his sneakers for God's sake, even though she dislikes them. The next morning, Zara wears her brother's sneakers to school, despite the fact they don't fit her properly. When she arrives at school, she takes a look at everyone's shoes while the teacher is inspecting their shoes, asking everyone to jump. When one of the students falls during the jump and the teacher instructs everyone to wear sneakers, Zara feels happy wearing them and stops hiding her shoes. On the other hand, Ali waits for his sister to return home so he can wear his sneakers and go to school. Zara also runs all the way home, exchanging the slippers, but Ali is late for school. The teacher notices that Ali is late but says nothing to him. 
Ollie returns home and inquires of his sister whether she informed their mother. She replies that she hasn't and will not tell anyone. She says that she is embarrassed to be wearing those filthy sneakers. Then they both sit down and begin washing the sneakers, blowing bubbles out of the soap. Ollie's friend approaches him and invites him to play, but he declines again, making numerous excuses. During dinner time, their mother compliments both of her children for helping her out. When it starts raining late at night, Zara wakes up Ali and asks him to fetch the shoes from the courtyard so they don't get wet. Ali runs out and brings the sneakers in the shed. The next morning, Zara wears her brother's shoes to school. She finishes her exam before it's time to get back to her brother. After the exam, she runs back home, and on the way, her shoes fall into the small stream that runs between the streets. As the shoes get stuck under a canal, she starts sobbing, kneeling beside a tree. An old man assists her in retrieving her shoes. Zara is late because she was chasing the shoes, and her brother scolds her. Ali then rushes to his school, where he receives a prize from his teacher for doing well in class. When Ali returns home, his sister is angry, so he decides to give her the pen he received from his teacher as a prize. The next day, while waiting in line for school, Zara notices the shoes that looked like hers. During her break, she stands near the girl who is wearing the same pink shoes that Ali lost some days before. She follows the girl after school up to her home, and when her brother returns, she shows him the girl's house. At night, Ali is seen assisting his father in the mosque. A friend gives his father some gardening tools at the mosque. During the holidays, his father decides to work as a gardener as he has the tools for the work. Ali and his father move out of the house to work as gardeners on the weekend. When they reach the city, they start to go door to door to ask if the owners are in need of some gardeners. Ali's father is pleased with his son's ability to communicate. After their multiple attempts, finally they are given a house to work on. They make more money than his father normally used to make, so they both return home happy. His father suggests that they purchase some home appliances to make their lives easier. Meanwhile, Ali requests that he purchase new shoes for his sister. As they are riding bicycles at speed, Ali's father notices that the brakes are not working. Soon they crash into a tree and both of them are injured. The next day, when Zara returns home from school, the pen that Ali gave her falls by accident. It is discovered by the girl in the pink shoes. She tries to call Zara, but she doesn't listen. In the next scene, the sports teacher at Ali's school announces that a provincial race competition is going to be held and the winners will get some special prizes. The next day, the girl gives Zara the pen. Zara notices the new shoes on the girl's feet and inquires about the old pink shoes. The girl informs her that her mother has thrown away her old shoes, which upsets Zara. Ali, on the other hand, discovers the prize given to the race winners. As a result, he wishes to compete in the race and win third place, as the third placed winner will receive a new pair of sneakers. He goes to the sports teacher to register for the race, but the teacher rejects him, stating that the deadline for registration has passed. The teacher only agrees to take him when he sees Ali's determination to win the race. He puts Ali to the test for the competition, and to his surprise, Ali turns out to be a good runner because it is part of his daily routine as he always runs to school to be on time. Ali is overjoyed to be able to share this news with his sister. When he tells his sister, she informs him that the prize will be for boys, i.e. a pair of sneakers. However, Ali informs her that he can exchange the sneakers for the girl's pair of shoes, making his sister happy. The following day, Ali and his group compete in the much-anticipated race. Hundreds of children are taking part in the race. Ali notices that everyone is well-dressed and wearing a good pair of shoes. When the race starts, everyone starts cheering and shouting for their students. Ali begins running in the race and tries to run faster, remembering how his sister runs from school to give him a pair of shoes every day. He's getting faster and faster. He recalls his promise to his sister to win the third prize in the race. Ali runs quickly and at one point becomes the first runner in the race. Hence, he slows down and lets the other two runners get ahead of him. When he reaches third place in the race, a runner pulls him back, causing Ali to fall. Despite the setback, Ali gets up and starts running even faster, making him the race winner. Everyone collapses on the ground in exhaustion as they cross the finish line. 
His teachers approach him, and without thinking about anything else, he asks his teacher if he is the third winner or not. The teacher declares him the winner of the race and carries him on his shoulders. Ali looks around and notices that everyone has parents who lavish their love on their children. He is also dissatisfied with his first place finish. During the prize distribution, his gaze shifts to the sneakers on the table, causing him to become unhappy. He returns home with a sad expression on his face. His sister is overjoyed to see him. However, the sadness on Ali's face makes Zara realize that her brother is unable to win the pair of sneakers for her. She becomes upset and enters the house, while Ali also becomes upset and sits in the courtyard. On the other hand, their father had purchased them a pair of shoes on his way home, but both children were unaware of it, causing them to be upset. Ali removes his shoes. He has bruises all over his leg. His shoes are also ripped. He keeps his leg under a small pond in his courtyard because he is upset. The fish in the pond gather around his feet as if they recognize what he has been through. The movie ends as the fish surround his legs as if they're trying to give his feet the love and care he deserves. That was all from the video, I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.